Hi team, I hope you're all well. Today we are going to be doing Christmas unboxing. We're in the kitchen again because this is where apparently I like to do my unboxings. Uh, but we are in here because also the lights are pretty cool in here and they light up and make it look like it's daylight, which it is currently not. Uh, it is currently almost four o'clock on Friday. So this is going up tomorrow for Christmas Eve. Um, I've had a little bit of a stressful day, so um, I'm hoping this will perk me up a little bit and calm me down as well. And then once it's filmed, I'll feel so much better as well. But um, I did want to start this off. We're going to be doing Christmas unboxings and then I've got two fairy loot boxes and an Illumicrate box as well that, that I'll do at the end. Um, so if you're not interested in those, you can you know hop on out towards the end um but yeah i did want to start off though i do have a couple of books here to show you that when they came they were left outside in the pouring down rain and one of them is pretty severely damaged and the other one luckily i think i've just managed to save it so uh the first one is the five the untold lives of women killed by jack the ripper by hallie rubenhold which i've been wanting to read for a while and now i'm devastated that the book i have for it is at like entirely almost entirely ruined um it's still probably readable but i think i will probably end up buying myself another copy but thank you so so much to sales suite for getting me this one i really do appreciate it um i do apologize for the fact that it was left it's, i mean it's not my fault but i do apologize for the fact that it was left outside so long in the rain and is now um thoroughly damaged so uh my apologies for that i don't even think i can get the pictures opened properly oh i can but they're very soggy um so yeah i'm excited about this one this is a non-fiction book about um the women that were murdered by jack the ripper and their stories i think so excited to read that one i do want to get into more non-fiction next year and on that basis i am excited to have the fact of a body by alexandria marzano levinsvich i think that's how you pronounce that uh, pronounce that and this one was sent to me by caitlin merry christmas you beautiful bitch i absolutely love this book but not as much as i love you cannot wait to see you again very shortly lots of love always your jolliest c word a friend from caitlin um caitlin thank you so much for this one again it was left outside the parcel for it was entirely damaged this one has come off pretty well to be fair so I, this will be readable and legible um it's just ever so slightly damp on the inside and through a few of the pages but i'm hoping that'll dry out okay on the radiator maybe um so yeah Thank you so much, Caitlin, for this one. Uh, again, non-fiction, as far as I'm aware. Um, it's a story. The Fact of a Body is both an enthralling memoir and a groundbreaking heart-stopping investigation into how the law is personal, composed of individual stories and proof that arriving at the truth arriving at the truth even is more complicated and powerful than we could ever imagine. I think, was this the one where Caitlin said there was like... Um, a few different investigations or something i can't remember but it sounds fascinating so thank you caitlin for that one um so let's go into these a couple of these again like my birthday have been opened because i was ordering stuff at the same time and i needed to let myself in to check um so this one is everything i know about love by dolly alderton there is no note with this one so if you sent me this one please let me know in the comments down below um there is just the receipt with it so no note unfortunately uh but thank you very much to whoever sent me this one again non-fiction can you see what i'm trying to do next year <laughs> it's read more non-fiction um so this one is actually one of my patreon buddy reads for our new non-fiction buddy uh book club uh which is going to be quarterly um and this is one of the books for that one so i know nothing about it but i'm i'm excited to give it a read I think I'm going to relate quite well to it as well with a new chapter on everything I know at 30. So I think I could relate to that one pretty well. Let me just push those uh, damper ones up a little bit. Uh, so thank you to whoever gifted me that one. Do let me know if it was you. Um, so this one is from CC. Of course it is because it's wrapped. Okay, let's find out what this one is. Oh, another non-fiction. What is going on here? 
Uh, I'm Glad My Mum Died by Jeanette McCurdy. I really need this one because this is the January book for our non-fiction book club and I'm really excited. I've heard nothing but good things about this one and this is following Jeanette McCurdy. Now I think she was on the Disney Channel. I'm not sure who she was or what she did but I think she was on the Disney Channel. I was too old. Um, so it's following, oh, iCarly, a heartbreaking and hilarious memoir by iCarly and Sam, Kat star, Sam and Cat star Jeanette McCurdy, McCurdy about her struggles as a former child actor, including eating disorders, addiction, and a complicated relationship with her overbearing mother and how she retook control of her life. I've heard really good things, so I am excited about reading this one. So thanks, Cece, for adding this one to my shelf. You are a star. Okay. Oh, this one is from Claire. Merry Christmas, Steph. Hope you have a nice Christmas and a happy new year. I can't wait to see what you do in 2023. Lots of love from Claire. Thank you so much, Claire. I hope you also have a fabulous Christmas and new year. Um, what do we have in Hither? Oh, what, what a gem. Okay. So we have Pages & Co, The Treehouse Library by Anna James. Um, I have been collecting these because underneath the dust jackets, they are absolutely beautiful and adorable. I've read the first two in the series, I think, which is Pages & Co, Tilly and the Bot Wanderers, and Tilly and the Lost Fairy Tales. So I'm excited to continue on with the series. Um, this is a middle grade series uh, following Tilly, and uh, she starts off in a library. Um, and going on adventures through the books and stuff so i'm intrigued to see how this continues looks like this one might follow in a different character though milo bolt interesting i wonder if tilly oh yeah her book her bookstore is featured in here so nice thank you so much claire next is one of andy's christmas presents <laughs> If anyone's interested, it's GTA 5 for the PlayStation. <laughs> I forgot I'd ordered that, I'm not gonna lie. It's it's not Christmas, it's birthday. Did I say birthday or Christmas? It's for his birthday. You guys don't care. <laughs> this one's also wrapped. From Alicia, I'm really enjoying being a part of your Patreon. Merry Christmas there from Alicia. Thank you so much, Alicia. I am enjoying having you part of my Patreon. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, okay, what do we have? Ooh, okay. I saw that Kayla read this one and I was really intrigued by it. And I have seen it in the shops, but I didn't realize it was a romance. So I'm very excited, but it's Honey and Spice and she really enjoyed it. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Um, she really enjoyed it, so I'm excited to get to this one. Uh, Love is a song she's happy to skip, but what if he's the melody she needs? I believe that this has got like a podcast type element in it, which I am absolutely here for, because I love that in a book. Oh, nice. Thank you so much, Alicia, for this one. You didn't have to, but thank you so much. Nobody ever has to uh, send me gifts, but thank you. You're all amazing. Uh, this was obviously another one that I um, had a quick butchers in to check it wasn't bought by me for me. Steph, Merry Christmas, babe. Can't wait till January from CC. I can't wait till January either. CC. I'm very excited. Yes, you are a legend. Thank you, CC. Okay, this is Two Wrongs Make a Right by Chloe Lee. I just read. Um, oh my goodness, what's the name of the book? Something to do with mistletoe. Mistletoe Motive, and absolutely loved it. It was fantastic. So I'm really excited for this one. And on the back it says, opposites become allies to fool their matchmaking friends in this swoony reimagining of Shakespeare's beloved com comedy, Much Ado About Nothing. I'm excited, I'm obsessed with this cover. Look how pretty this is. My battery's dying. Nobody's surprised, okay. This was another one that I just needed to check as well. I didn't um, look at the book though. Uh, Merry Christmas, Steph. I've been loving your Instagram and YouTube videos. Looking forward to seeing what you think of this and getting it to it myself at some point. Best wishes for the new year from Meg. <gasps> yes. 
Okay, I'm so excited about this book. This is Five to Survive by Holly Jackson. I have absolutely loved the Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. Haven't finished it yet, just on the basis that the first 100 pages of the last book um, triggered me a little bit with the stalking, but I believe that it's not too bad as you go on with the book. Um, so this is a road trip to deadly in this heart pounding addictive YA thriller from the multi-million bestselling author of Good Girl's Guide to Murder. I believe that if you liked No Exit by Taylor Adams, you will like this one. So um, I'm excited. Thank you so much, Meg, for this one. I can't wait to pick this one up. Thank you very much, my love. Then we get into some personalised gifts. So this one is from Victoria, I think. I did start to open it, then realised that I wanted to include it in the unboxing. So let me get to the card to check, just double check that it is from Victoria, because there is this one as well, which could also be from Victoria. So I can't get in. Oh my God, there's a voucher. <laughs> Oh, 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 it is from Victoria. Um, yes, this is from one of my patrons, Victoria. Look how gorgeous this card is. She just mentions in the card, it's quite a long note, she just mentions in the card that she's developed a um, obsession with gonks and even tried making them in which she's added one into my parcel which is absolutely adorable this was only her second try as well so that's absolutely beautiful and um, she's also added a costa card as well with 10 pound on it and then we do have this little tub which i had no doubt was filled with jewelry because she loves making jewelry so we've got these gorgeous moon star earrings which are absolutely beautiful and I will definitely be wearing tomorrow. And then this really pretty bracelet as well with a um, little angel figurine on it as well. Thank you so much, Victoria. Um, I think, yes, there is a book in here too. I haven't heard of these this before. Tangleweed and Brine by Deirdre Sullivan. Interesting. <gasps> it's got illustrations in it very nice on the back it says um when you venture into forests you must protect yourself there's a darkness here tread softly and be careful bewitched retelling of classic fairy tales with brave and resilient hero uh, heroines tales of blood intrigue and betrayal and enchantment not for the faint-hearted or damsel in distress that sounds like, fascinating how have i never heard of this this is gorgeous Oh, so we have the likes of Cinderella, Red Riding Hood, Rapunzel, Hansel and Gretel, Rumpelstiltskin. The battery did indeed die, I apologise. Uh, fair, brown and trembling, I think is what I was saying. Fair, brown and trembling, Snow White, A Little Mermaid, The Frog Prince, Bluebeard, Donkey Skin, The Goose Girl, Beauty and the Beast, Sleeping Beauty. Very nice. So pretty. Thank you so much, Victoria, for that. I really do appreciate it. You are a sweetheart. Thank you so much. Adorable. Um, while I was upstairs, I picked up a couple other books as well that I forgot had already come and I'd opened thinking they were leftover birthday presents. So I'll go through those in a second too. This one, I've got absolutely no idea where it's come from. So let's give it a an open, shall we? Oh my goodness, it smells like Lush. <laughs> okay, so it's got this gorgeous little bag in it. I have no idea who sent me this. It smells like Lush because it is Lush. <laughs> Let's find out who it's from. This looks like it could be my friend Laura, but I could also be wrong. It is. Oh, bless her. Can't quite believe it's nearly 2023. It'll be our best year yet. P.S. Who knows if this will even make it to you with the Royal Mail playing silly buggers. Bless her. She's gone ahead and got me a little uh, lush parcel as well. Sweet Christmas. It smells delicious. A Snow Fairy Roll Bubble Bar and a bu uh, Butter Bear Bath Bomb. She knows Snow Fairy is my favourite. Thanks so much, Lou Bear. I don't know if you ever watch my videos, but if you do, thank you. I love you. Um, bless her. What a sweetheart. Okay. The other books that came 
that I got with uh, notes that actually came for, this is from Liam and it says, Merry Christmas Steph and Ali, happy birthday too. It was great to meet you at Yalk, hopefully not too long before the next time, enjoy the festive season. Also, meep from Liam. Thank you so much, Liam. He got me Rules for Vanishing by Kay Alice Marshall. I've been looking to add more thriller and horrors, you know this already, on my TBR and this one I believe is a thriller with a podcast element. I got the recommendation from Riley. And it says, once a year, a road appears in the woods at midnight and the ghost of Lucy Gallows beckons, inviting those who are brave enough to play her game. If you win, you escape with your life, but if you lose... Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. I think there's a sister of one of the people that's gone missing is trying to hunt her down. Um, so i'm really excited i don't know if this is more horror than thriller but either way i'm very excited for it and then from claire i did get merry christmas steph from claire i got the last housewife by ashley winstead which i'm really excited about again a thriller with a podcast element i wasn't a huge fan of in my dreams i hold knife but i do have another book by ashley oh no that's ashley poston Oh yeah, In My Dreams I Hold Knife, I wasn't a fan of that one, but this one is another like college one, I believe. Um, I'm not fully sure what happens, to be honest, and I'm quite excited about the thought of going into it without fully knowing. It's another one of those that just lays flat as well. Very happy about it. Thank you so much, Claire, for this one. And then from my wonderful Cody, Merry Christmas, my dude. Hope you have the loveliest of holidays. I did get... Uh, Ghost Eaters by Clay McHel Mc McLeod Chapman. I struggle with that every single time. This is a horror. Can't remember where I got the recommendation, but I've got a couple of other, a, a couple, I think maybe one more of Clay's books on my wish list. Um, again, this could be a Riley recommendation, I'm not sure. But it says, pop a pill, see the dead, side effects may occur. Um, this wholly original and utterly terrifying tale will make you think twice about opening doors to the unknown. Uh, so thank you, Cody, for this one. And then she did get me also the mistletoe motive, which I have read. Um, so thanks, Cody, for that. I appreciate you. And then I did take part in a secret Santa um, this year in the UK. And I did get both of these books from Jagdeep. So thank you, Jagdeep, for both of these. Um, but I got Legends and Lattes by Tre Travis Baldry this is the new cover because it's now been taken up by a publisher i have read this before but i do have the original cover as well which would be this one on the inside of the book this is a cozy fantasy and i absolutely loved it it is following uh viv who is an orc and she decides she want to put she wants to put her tools down not fight anymore and open up a coffee shop in a very quiet town that's never heard of coffee before and um it's just really really adorable high fancy low stakes good company that's how it's explained and i absolutely adored it so thank you jagdeep for sending me a copy of that and he also got me a copy of lost in time by ag riddle which i again i know nothing about but there's been some um chatter about it in our dippy gang group so um it's following two different timelines and i think there's like time hops dinosaurs all kinds of different stuff um and maybe a mystery element to it as well so i'm looking forward to trying this one out as well so thank you jackie for that one i really do appreciate it so now we get into our subscription boxes so let's go into illumicrate this is the book only subscription from Illumicrate. I do only get that one, um, as well as the Afterlight box as well. And this one is for The Red Scholar's Awake by Aliette de Bodard. I have never heard of this before. Those edges are stunning. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. It's a, it's a, oh my goodness. I only saw the blue at the top. Um, haven't heard of this at all. There is a signed book plate in here with gorgeous end papers and this under the dust jacket i'm going to assume that this is sci-fi i'm sorry if you can hear the rain enjoy the asmr <laughs> uh set against the backdrop of an interstellar war against piracy and the five fleets brutal fight to save each other and the attackers are raid against them this is an exciting space opera and a beautiful romance from an exceptional sci-fi author nice I am here for sci-fi and uh, romance. Nice combo. 
Love that. It's not even too big either for a sci-fi. 321 pages. Very nice. Um, so I did get that one from Illumicrate. And then from Fairy Loot, I'm so grateful neither of these are left outside. Um, in fact, one of my boxes was left outside. I've got to open that with you in a minute. I think I'm accidentally being sent two boxes here from Fairy Loot for the YA box. I'm going to have to double check that because this isn't the first time. So this is for the adult book. Let me just shut this box. Don't get this rubbish everywhere. Um, and this is Emily Wilde Encyclopedia of Fairies by Heather Fawcett. This cover is absolutely stunning and the edges are beautiful. Oh, pretty. Um, it is signed by Heather Fawcett as well. The end papers look like this. Very pretty. And oh my goodness, under the dust jacket, it looks like this. That's gorgeous. Very nice. Um, enter the world of hidden folk and discover the most whimsical, enchanting and romantic tale you'll read this year, starring the intrepid Emily Wilde. It's got footnotes. I wondered if it actually had illustrations, but it doesn't. Um, but it's got footnotes. So interesting. Very nice concept. Nice. Um, and then this one I think is the YA box, which ironically enough, I have another set of over there, but the box was so incredibly damaged. Um, oh, hang on. What is going on here? It was so incredibly damaged that I had to take it all out of the box as quickly as I possibly could. Okay, yeah, it is the same box. It's just that it's been packaged differently, that's all. Which is a bonus, to be fair, but I'm going to have to speak to them and find out why I'm being sent two boxes because uh, it's not supposed to work that way, I don't think. Okay, let's get rid of this. So, we do have the spoiler card and this month it is the Witching Hour. So, we have the Tarot Cards of the Month and this features um, Mason as the Tower card and Louis, Luli as the star uh, from the Stardust Thief, which I have not read yet, but obviously do have a copy of from Fairy Loot. Very pretty. Then we do have a, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Uh, this is a foiled mug. I have never seen a foiled mug before. I'm hoping that you can see the foil in here instead of just the shine from the camera. But this is stunning. And this features art from Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Maniscalco, which I love that book. Uh, so that's very nice indeed. We have a, we're supposed to have a letter opener, which it looks like in this box I have not got. But ironically enough, because I've been sent two boxes, I has a spare. <laughs> uh, this is really, really pretty. This is inspired by Serpent and Dove by Shelby McEwen, which again, I loved the first book, haven't carried on yet. Very pretty. Then we do have a book review notebook, which looks like this. And inside, oh, that's pretty. It looks like this. I may try and use that. I don't know how many books it fits. The review notebook is back. This time it's a cottage witchy style, um, which we hope you will love. I feel like Ashley's had a huge influence over the two boxes for Fairy Loot for November because these are beautiful. Um, very much so up Ashley Street, I think. This is a grimoire pin. Oh, that's pretty which has a spells book and is, oh, it says no witch is complete without her trusted spell book. And it looks like this, very pretty pin indeed. And then getting into the book and the stuff that comes in the bag, which is severely ripped. I don't know how that's happened. 
We do have the matching bookmark, which always comes along. The fairy scoop, which I'll go through in a second. A um, Dear Fairy Loot Reader letter, which is very, very pretty indeed. And the book, which is The Ones We Burn by Rebecca Mix, which looks like this. And again, has um, these sprayed edges, absolutely beautiful. Um, this also has a signed book plate. The end papers look like this. They're stunning. Oh, 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 oh. Um, we have this on the hardback. And then we also have a reversible dust jacket, which I am here for. I love the original dust jacket, but this is stunning. Very nice indeed. It's the other end. Oh, the end, other end looks like this as well. Very nice. I haven't heard of this before, so I've got no idea what it's about, but I'm going to assume, going to assume it's witches. And it's got short chapters. Nice. Ranka is tired of death, now she just wants to be left alone, living out her days in the wild north with the coven that raised her, attempting to forget the horrors of her past, but when she is named Bloodwin, the next treaty bride her to the human kingdom of Isodal. Her coven sends her south with a single uh, directive, kill the prince. Easily enough, easy enough for a blood witch whose magic compels her to kill. Except the prince is gentle, kind and terrified of her. He doesn't want to marry Ranka, he doesn't want to be king at all and it's his sister, the wickedly smart, infuriatingly be beautiful Princess Ar um, Aramis who seems to be the real threat. But when witches start turning up dead, murdered by magical plague, Am Aramis makes Ranka an offer. Help her develop a cure and in return she'll teach Ranka to contain her deadly magic. As the coop draws nearer and the plague spreads, Ranka is forced to question everything she thought she knew about her power, her past, and who she's meant to fight for. Soon she'll have to decide between the coven that raised her and the princess who sees beyond the monster that they shaped her to be. But as the bodies pile up, a monster may be exactly what they need. Interesting. That actually sounds really good. Haven't heard of it before, but it sounds great. So in the fairy scoop, we obviously, as usual, have an interview with the author um, and she goes on quite a bit actually, it's a sequel and stuff. So the read along for the ones we burn will start on December 19th, which is great news on the basis that it's now Friday 23rd. Um, and on the back, it tells us that next month's theme, December, will be come one, come all. We are excited to reveal the December theme for our young adult monthly box, and it's come all, come one, come all. Um, in this box, you can expect two items inspired by Caraval and the Night Circus. I disliked both of those books. <laughs> We're thrilled to reveal that this box will also have the next foiled bookmarks in our mythology collection, um, bookends, and a book sleeve. Fancy. Uh, and the next book will have magicians, romance, deadly magic, and vampires. That sounds all right, like a right mix. I am intrigued. Okay, well, thank you so much to Fairy Loot for sending me that box. That box, I really do appreciate it. Um, I am going to contact them and speak, find out why I'm getting two boxes, two YA boxes from them. Um, although it's worked out in my favour because I would have missed out on this otherwise, and also the majority of my stuff would have actually been damaged. So due to the postal service uh so yeah that's everything that i have for christmas from the likes of you guys and two uh three unboxings from fairy loot and illumicrate thank you so much to everybody that's gifted me something you never ever have to i know that my birthday and christmas are very very close um but i appreciate everything that you guys do nonetheless whether that you follow me on instagram or you like some of my photos or you're subscribed to me on youtube you're in the comments of my videos or my live shows or you are a patron or you have sent me something i appreciate you all nonetheless your support means everything and no matter in what form it comes because i appreciate it but thank you so so much i hope you all have a fantastic christmas and holiday period 
whether you celebrate or not. And I hope you all have an amazing new year and here's 2023 and hoping that it will be fantastic for everyone. I know um, this year may not have been as good for us, others as it has been for me. It started off terribly with my grand grandpa passing, but as far as like my career is concerned, the year's been fantastic uh, with the shop and with YouTube and Patreon and things just going from strength to strength. It's been amazing. Uh, so thank you again for your constant support because I couldn't do any of it without you and obviously without Jade as well, um, who is the best work buddy on the planet. Um, but yeah, thank you so, so much. I am eternally grateful. I couldn't do any of this without you. And again, wishing you all very happy holidays and a fantastic new year. And I shall see you in the next video. Bye for now.